huge savings on Obamacare with this one simple trick. Yeah, this isn't clickbait. This is my nose is running. You gotta stop doing that. You gotta stop sniffing the table. I, you remember that song, Billy Joel, with a spoon up your nose? I always, what the hell does that mean? And now I know, spoon up your nose. Don't do that stuff. It's stupid. Anyway, so uh, I was talking to this guy today. Well, the guy, his, uh, his lady, his lady friend, uh, actually husband and wife, just crushing out of Ohio. Tons of Ohioans. Love your old buddy Josh, dude. I should run for a governor of Ohio, take it old Mike DeWine. Mike DeWiner. Get it? He's always whining. <laughs> we need some, uh, what did Bart say? <laughs> Less whining. <laughs> That's from a Simpsons episode. Give me a thumbs up if you know I'm talking about the Simpsons episode. Uh, Les White, <laughs> I think that was, was Sideshow Bob. Oh, the Simpsons sucks now, but Sideshow Bob was just such a great character. Oh, my goodness. I love me some Sideshow Bob. Sideshow Bob and Randy Marsh, dude, the two best characters ever. And then, of course, Scooby Dooby Doo. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, all right, so back to the point. So these guys I'm working with in Ohio. And they're uh, they're getting ready to hang it up, and they're well before they're 65 for Medicare, all right? So they're looking at Obamacare. And what I normally do when I'm running Obamacare, I'm just going to show you here real quick. Normally what I say is, okay, we're going to go in here. This is uh, healthcare.gov slash cplans. All right, so uh, we're just going to use me here because I can't remember their, uh, their zip code. Um, so I'm using zip code full. Let me just start from scratch. Here's a uh, <laughs> – speaking of sideshow, Bob <laughs> – Oh my goodness, speaking of Sideshow Bob, oh, that is funny, that just hit me. All right, so here, I hope you guys get the joke. We're gonna put my county. <laughs> oh, dude, that's fantastic. Fulton County, Georgia. Oh, that was too funny, dude. Oh my goodness, Josh, you are the man of all men. I am, I am. If that doesn't, if that doesn't work or worth a super chat or buy me a coffee, you're wrong. That dude, that made you laugh right there. Speaking of Sideshow Bob, you know, I hope you know what I'm talking about. If that didn't warrant you to give me a super chat or buy me a cup of coffee, you're you're wrong, dude. Because that was funny as hell, and I didn't even mean to. I just I saw the opportunity, I could not resist. Of course, my wife would say, yeah. Uh, okay, she doesn't like when I'm so silly. All right, so we did my zip code. We're going to tell us about a household. We're going to hit this. We're married, me and other people. So me, and, we're going to say we're married, me and uh, old Charlotte there. We don't get to claim any dependents. Uh, I'm 54, 50. I'm a male, and I'm not pregnant. I know I could be. I'm not, but I, you know, you never know. You never know, all right? And my wife is going to be 50, all right? And she does not need, she needs to get her prostate examined. We've got to make sure Charlotte gets her prostate exam. So I qualify as not pregnant, and Charlotte needs to get her prostate exam to make sure she doesn't have any pre-existing conditions. We're going to go to confirm. We're going to put $50,000 a year of income. Remember, this is not our spending money. This is the income we need. I mean, this is our what's going to show us the AGI, and I'll show you here in just a second, um, for our tax return, because that's how Obamacare is looked at. And I'll show you an example here in just a second. We're going to hit continue. And we're going to get credits for $12.89 a month. That's pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're going to add filters. And we're going to look at silver plans. I only get HMOs in stupid Fulton County because Fulton County, where all votes counted. And they're all legit. And we're going to see right here, we got uh, whatever the hell Oscar is. I don't know what that is. They probably suck. But uh, I think they do suck, actually, um, because their commercials are really bad. Really trying to play on the racial, like, uh, I, I don't want no doctors uh, give me the time because I'm black. I'm like, dude, you just, what is, what is with those companies playing on a racial thing? I, they had commercial about that here in Georgia. They had a black guy saying, yeah, I don't get, any, you know, doctors always look over me because I'm black. I'm like, dude, this is, this is a health insurance company. It's weird, man. I, I just, uh, dude, I cannot stand corporate America. But anyway, so you see right here, the, the deductible, sorry, premiums are quite low, but our deductible is 11,500. Out of pocket max is 18,000. All right. Now, in of itself, I don't want to go to the hospital or the doctor at all. I'd, I mean, I want to go once a year for a physical and you know, get my blood work done and all that. And I guess get, you know, my prostate examined because, uh, you know, men get prostates. Crazy. I know. How dare I? But, you know, other than that, I want, I want to stay as far away from the medical community as I can. And, you know, acute, if I got to get surgery, I got to get rotator cuff surgery 100%. I mean, if you got to get acute care, I don't have a qualm with it. But, you know, I don't want a, the sick care doctor to throw all this crap at me, which I know is not going to make me better. So I try to avoid it. But with that said, you never know. You might have out of pocket max in the right here, out of pocket max, eighteen thousand bucks with a deductible eleven thousand five hundred. All right, so let's do this. Let's hit edit, 
that's with fifty thousand dollars on my 1040 all right and we're going to go and confirm we're going to say our income is thirty five thousand right there crack out all right so we're going to get a higher uh, credit this is not i did not know this until my man said this we'll call him uh well well we're gonna call we already used todd yesterday we'll call him yeah we're gonna call him how about billy billy and gene with the wife's gene and billy we got billy here all right billy billy and gene that's my lover um and so uh let me see oh, oscar oh we gotta go back to filters so check this out we're gonna hit filters we're gonna go back to hmo we're gonna go back to silver and gold silver and gold and we're going to click on here. Watch what happens. Watch this. Our out-of-pocket max is a third. Our premiums are $29.72. Look, our deductible is $1,200. Dude, I had no clue that difference if you show $35,000 as AGI versus uh, $50,000. I mean, a third. The, the deductible is a tenth of what it was before. The out-of-pocket max is a third of what it was before. Barky McGee over there even says, hey, the premiums were... Well, like an eighth or something like that, what it was before. I couldn't believe it. Just by saying you have $15,000 less, hold on. Just by showing $15,000 less on your AGI, your 1040. So check this out. How are we going to do this? I'm going to show you. Hold on a second. Let me go tell my dogs to pipe down pipers. Here's their 1040. And what we have here is they got a bunch of money sitting in cash, uh, making 4% a year. I mean, a bunch of money. They got like $300,000 because they've been, once their mortgage was paid, they've been saving, saving, saving. It's, these guys are just freaking legends, dude. I know Ohio not known for his legends, but I deal with a lot of legends in Ohio. And yeah, the right big mouth. And uh, it's amazing. And these guys are just freaking crushing. Anyway, so they got fourteen thousand of uh, of taxable interest because they're have, you know sitting in a savings account, a bank account essentially CDs and whatnot. They got to watch out for their dividends. I told them to put all their brokerage accounts all in VTI or some similar scenario where they don't have much dividends, they don't have any capital gains. We got to be careful of you know spinning off interest income, dividend income, capital gains, and VTI or you know that's a Vanguard Total Market Index. Check this out, by the way. Kevin from North Carolina sent me this VTI until I die. And then it's got Vanguard on the back. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool shirt. Very thick, actually. Very thick, Kevin. So much obliged. Kevin crushes. Vietnam vet. Legend. Legend in his own mind. Actually, he's crushing as well. Um, VTI died. But anyway, so VTI, there's no capital gains in there. Very limited dividends. So I said, hey, man, make sure your brokerage accounts contain no bonds. No municipal bonds either. Um, now, he's got some cash because they got to live off something. So he's going to live off cash. The cash is going to generate some income, and then he's going to get Pablo. Um, excuse me. But then you can see he's going to do twenty thousand a year in Roth conversions. So he's going to live off that cash because he's got like, man, that stinks, baby. But I do love you. It smells like fit, man. It smells like Peaks Island or Portland Custom House Wharf. When I was when I was a kid in Maine and Portland, would take the boat into school, and the boat would drop you off at Custom House Wharf, and you could smell the fish, all the fish and everything was on Custom House Wharf. And that's what your breath smells like, which kind of reminds me of back home. See Maine right there. You can't really see it there, right there. All right. And so anyway, so what's happening here is we're doing twenty thousand initially we we're gonna do thirty-five thousand a year in Roth conversions. Because that's what I was suggesting. Maybe thirty-five thousand a year. It keeps your income at fifty thousand, you qualify for Obamacare premiums. But he said, no, if we do if we keep our income at thirty-five thousand, our AGI income at thirty-five thousand, <laughs> then I'm gonna get even more premium credits and our out-of-pocket max and deductibles are way lower. I said, Really? I said, sure enough. Dude, that's it. Well, it must be nice, John. <laughs> well, that's why you like for me, I'm everything is going to VTI and Roth. That's it. And so, you know, let's say Charlotte works for 30000 a year. I work digging ditches for 30000 a year, dude. My Obamacare credits are almost free, as we sit here today. I don't know what's going to be in the future, but it's almost free. It's like I'm still living off that money. This guy's still living, what do we call him, uh, Billy and Jean. Billy and Jean are still living on 80000 90000 a year sitting in their cash account. But they're going to do 20000 a year Roth conversion so they can show some income. They're going to have some cash from their brokerage account, uh, uh, income from their brokerage, their CDs and stuff. It's a great plan. I don't even know. Anyway, there's a cheesehead back there. Freaking Packers. All right. Love your thoughts. God bless. And pod that like button. We'll see you.